I suffered from a concussion and neck injury that to this day I'm still recovering from. injuries I still suffer from today include impaired vision, partial paralysis on my right side, constant headaches, as well as anxiety and depression. My ability to learn, retain, comprehend has also been impaired and I require accommodations at school for testing because of this. Allowing biological males to compete against biological females is dangerous. I may be the first to come before you with an injury, but if this doesn't pass, I won't be the last. So this question of, do trans women have an advantage over cis women? We don't know. Um, in fact, there's basically no published research on this question. of body types within the female category is way, way bigger than anything that could be attributed to trans women. Allowing biological males to compete against biological females is dangerous. wins the NCAA championship, ended up very close for second. The NCAA rules regarding trans women competing in women's sports have been around for, for 10 plus years. Um, and, and we haven't seen any massive uh, wave of trans women dominating. severely injured in a high school volleyball game by a transgender athlete on the opposing team. I suffered from a concussion and neck injury that to this day I'm still recovering from. Allowing biological males to compete against biological females is dangerous. I may be the first to come before you with an injury, but if this doesn't pass, I won't be the last. My ability to compete was taken from me. Having to play against biological males is not a level, a level playing field.